The Shroom and Doom update is coming to Grounded at the end of the month on June 30th, and it looks to be one of the biggest updates that Grounded has ever had since it was initially launched about a year ago. A trailer was revealed yesterday at E3 from Obsidian Entertainment that shows off a bunch of the new stuff that we should hopefully be getting in the update at the end of the month. And if you're excited about that, you could do me a huge favor and smash that like button. But if you want to hear about 10 of the most amazing, awesome, cool things that were shown off in this trailer, as well as some in-depth analysis of some things that they really didn't point out to you, well then stick around because that's what I'm here to cover in this video today. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming, and in this video, I'll be going over 10 of the biggest changes coming to Grounded in Update 0.10.0, also known as the Shroom and Doom Update. The Shroom and Doom update was revealed to us with a trailer yesterday at E3, and it looks very, very interesting. There's a bunch of stuff that's obviously pointed out in the trailer, but then there's a few things that you may not have noticed. I'm going to be going over all of it here in this video, and if you want to see more exciting Grounded-related, Grounded-themed content here on Tiny Pirate Gaming in the future, I hope this video earned your subscription today. Number 10. So in this first image here, what we see is a cake cookie. That's what I'm calling it, a cake cookie. It's a stack of cookies, it appears, with some uh, what look to be weed stem columns up around the edges being used to support lights. Now, what I find most interesting about this image is, well, before I get into it, let me first say I think this is us being trolled. I don't think this will be something that will actually be in the game. If I am proven wrong, it will be great because that means that we're going to be able to do some stuff and I'm going to cover that right now and that means if you notice in this image there's some larger items. There's this giant dry grass chunk. The cookies are not as big as they normally are and there appears to be crude rope wrapped around each segment between the cookies except it's at a much larger size than we're used to seeing in the game. Now this can be one of two things. This is like I said Obsidian Entertainment simply did this for the cinematic. They they used the game resources, they resized them simply to film this cinematic scene for the trailer. Or we're literally going to be able to at some point get the ability to, to sort of build things in the backyard in sort of a creative mode uh, where we can resize certain items. Because if you also notice the sap scones light is also at a giant size it's been resized it's way larger than you can build in the game it's way larger than than you can see in the game another thing worth noting about this which makes me think this is simply a cinematic is none of the characters in these scenes are wearing their scabs so i don't believe those are the actual in games i think those were uh renderings and animations done specifically for this e3 trailer uh but we might get something like that not 100 percent sure but I figured I'd talk about it because it was really interesting. I found it interesting. A lot of other people found it interesting. All over the interwebs yesterday, I figured I'd cover it. Number nine. Oh yeah, the fish, the fish. Everyone knows about the fish. If you've played Grounded, you know all about the fish. You don't mess with the fish because the fish is scary. And there's one thing, there's always one place you're safe in the pond and that's on the surface because the fish likes to stay under the water or that's what you thought. That's what you thought. But as we're seeing with this image right here from the trailer is it looks like the fish is going to get some new animations primarily it's going to be able to breach the surface of the water which means maybe if you're swimming on the surface the fish is going to come up and it's going to get you it's going to get you you better swim faster you better be very very afraid when you get into the water in the shroom and doom update because if this image here is to be believed the fish is going to get you even if you're on the surface. So beware. Number eight. Now this is the one that everyone really noticed. This is the one that a lot of people got a big hype for and, and well-deserved hype because this is one of the most interesting images that we were shown during this trailer and that is new armors and new weapons. There's a lot to unpack in this image here. So I'm gonna try to go through it. On Pete, you got the black and armor. He's rocking the new black and armor. For, so that means we're probably gonna get the black ants. Also, he's carrying a new shield. That's a really neat shield. I don't know what it's gonna be made of. I've heard speculation that it might be a roly-poly shield or it might be a black ant shield or something along those lines, but there you go. We can now see the black armor, the black ant armor, 
and this new shield also hoops is rocking like a wizard's or a witch's hat some some sort of hat like that i'm not sure what advantage this hat's going to do for you i've heard speculation that it's going to be a new archery hat uh i don't i don't agree with that i think it's going to do something else i'm not sure what it's going to do exactly but nonetheless we're getting this wizard hat also if you notice willow's carrying a curved sword now i noticed this sword and i was like oh cool it's like a pirate sword except it's curving the other way it looks to me like this sword that willow's carrying is probably a black ant mandible sword that looks to be an ant mandible uh, attached to some sort of handle that she's carrying there so that's what i'm thinking that weapon is and here's the coolest looking part of all of this the gladiator armor the roman style armor which a lot of people are speculating is the roly-poly armor it's probably is the roly-poly armor and it looks super super awesome like the, the, it looks so cool it looks so cool and i hope it has an awesome buff and i hope it's really strong because i would very much like to rock this armor while i'm playing the game and of course max rocking the roly-poly armor is also carrying another weapon that has been highly speculated about in the grounded community highly sought after uh, highly anticipated and that is the crossbow i have a feeling that the crossbow is made of crow feather if i'm not mistaken uh, it's going to be a crow, crow feather crossbow, and uh, it's going to be awesome. It looks like it's going to be awesome. We don't get to see any footage of anyone actually using it, but we do see characters holding it a lot, and I, for one, cannot wait to get my hands on this crossbow. Number seven. And here's something else that's really new and really pointed out big time in the trailer that you're going to notice as soon as you watch it, and that is these new utility resource builds now what i mean by that is like the jerky rack and the spinning wheel these are devices that you can use as utilities to transform other resources into new resources that you need to build higher tier stuff that's what i think we're seeing here what i'm speculating is that you're seeing a grinder that's going to be used to grind stuff down into some sort of paste or liquid that's what you're seeing happen right there at the bottom a lot of people have called it milk i believe it is mushroom slurry and in the back there looks to be a kiln that's what i've heard it be described as a kiln or a furnace or some sort of heating device that's probably going to be used to transform mushroom slurry into mushroom bricks for some stuff i'm going to be talking about a little bit later in this video number six take a load off have a seat sit on down lounge back that's what we're going to get we're going to be able to finally sit in the chairs people have been crying about sitting in the chairs they've been begging for it they've been screaming about it it's been all over the streets it's been all over the discords it's been everywhere across the backyards all the backyards every backyard you visit people got like these chairs and they're like what's the point of these chairs why can't i sit in the chairs chairs all over the place you can't sit in them what's going on here well now you can you can sit in them and according to this you're not just going to be able to sit in them you're going to be able to lounge in them maybe you're going to be able to pose in them like with photo mode or something that would be really cool right anyway you're going to be able to sit in chairs it's finally here number five the pets, the pets, little aphid pets, little, little aphid pet running around. You get this one follow you around and you go on adventures with it. And it'll be so much fun. You're going to get the little aphid pet and I don't know, it looks really awesome. Uh, you're going to be able to pet it, it looks like. You, you know, maybe it'll play fetch or something with you. Uh, it wags its little butt like it's a dog when you're petting it. It looks like it's going to be so awesome. It's going to be so cool. I'm so hyped for this. And I think it's time it, uh, with the Shroom and Doom update. For something to be added to the grounded merch store that people have been calling for you know if, if this shroom and doom update is really going to give the people what they want well then we need an aphid plushie in the grounded merch store get it done i want to see it i want to buy it take my money number four it is called the shroom and doom update so we're going to talk about mushrooms we're going to talk about mushrooms right now and the first thing about mushrooms is it looks like you're going to be able to chop them down and they're probably going to give you a resource like mushroom chunks you're probably going to then take that mushroom chunk throw it into a new grinder grind it up into a mushroom slurry then throw that mushroom slurry into a kiln and make yourself some mushroom bricks and with those wonderful amazing mushroom bricks you can build yourself an amazing mushroom brick palace you can build yourself almost what, 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 a mushroom kingdom. Uh, I guess we probably can't do that. You know, sorry, Nintendo. Uh, but another thing it looks like you're going to be able to do with these awesome mushrooms is grow them yourself. Now, I would like to see this, this farming mechanic that it looks like we're going to be able to do for the mushrooms expanded upon so that we can farm 
dandelions, grass, dry grass, all the stuff that grows around the backyard. We should be able to plant in our own little planters and grow within our bases so we don't really have to search too hard to find some of the resources because some of the resources are a bit difficult to find. Uh, you know, like, like when you chop down all, all your wheat stems in a given area and then you got to wait for them to spawn back and it takes a little bit of time. It'd be nice to just grow your own farm. Just like we're hopefully going to be able to grow our own farm of mushrooms and then harvest mushroom chunks out of them and make the castle building a lot quicker. One other thing I'm going to note here, it looks like we're going to get half walls. I've mentioned this before in an earlier video about the grounded letter from the developers. If you haven't seen that video, it's probably up in the corner or linked down in the description. You can go check it out. We're probably going to get half walls for stems, for grass, and probably also for the mushroom bricks. And like I mentioned before, I still, I would like to see clay and pebblet walls and floors. Those would be nice. Uh, anyway. Number three. So we covered the shrooms, but now it's time to cover the doom. And the doom is the new broodmother. The broodmother spider is making a return. It's been totally revamped. It's no longer like it used to be just a recolored wolf spider. Now it has a totally new overlay, a totally new texturing, new skin, and it appears to be even larger, and it's getting its own sort of what appears to be a boss arena. Uh, and it looks to be located in the hedge void. If you don't know what the hedge void is, well, I got a video down in the description that'll teach you about what the hedge void was. It was a location in the hedge that was sort of inaccessible. Uh, it wasn't really inaccessible, but then Obsidian made it inaccessible, but a lot of people discovered it, and there was a bunch of heat secret stuff up there. But if you want to go check that video out, it's linked down in the bottom below. It's a parody video. It's a joke video. Uh, but it does show off the hedge void. So this brood mother spider appears to be in the hedge void or is going to be in potentially a new hedge. And I'll be covering that in just a moment. Number two. This is just a brief one. They, they're adding achievements. The achievements are finally going to be there. So as you're playing through the game, you're going to get some new achievements to unlock as you do stuff in the game. Uh, my question is, is what about the people who, if you've been playing the game for a while, is anything you've done before going to count as, you know, rewarding you for the achievements or are achievements only going to be engaged if you start a new game in the grounded Shroom and Doom update? That would be my only question is what about the players who've been playing for a long time? Will the achievements of what we've done before carry over to fulfill these new achievements or are we going to have to start a new game? to enable achievements for the player to unlock. I don't know, we'll find out. Number one. This is the fun part. This is the part that most people may have not noticed when watching through the trailer, and that is there's new gigantic landmarks that appear to be located in the under construction zones that you can see in the background of some of the images shown in this trailer. Now I'm going to go through as many of these as I noticed real quickly and show off the pictures of them. First there appears to be a tire. There's a giant tire back there, a car tire or, or tractor tire of some sort that's been left out in the backyard. There's also a lawnmower in the backyard. You might be able to see the handle sticking up through the grass. That's back there. There is a new hedge, what appears to be a more corner piece cubicle styled hedge in the far back corner of the yard. There is also something shiny on top of the cliff, on top of the uh, stone wall along the back side of the pond. I can't tell what that really is. There is also coals that may or may not actually be burning coming from the tipped over grill. And it also appears that the grill has had a revamp. It's been recolored, maybe has had some more textures and layers added to it. But the grill looks a little bit different. And again, the charcoal is now there and it looks like it might be even a little bit hot. Another thing is there are cinder blocks back by the shed. That's very interesting. So they're gonna be adding more stuff back there. And now there's two shovels. There used to be one shovel near what people are calling the sandbox. But now it appears there are two shovels or perhaps a rake. Either way, there's another handle sticking up. Also, on top of the picnic table, you might notice there is maybe a new soda can or a new cup or a drinking glass and some other food items possibly up on top of the picnic table. That's very interesting. And one final noteworthy part here is in the very back of the yard, you can maybe see fence posts that appear to be 
uh, rudimentary garden fence posts that are holding up some sort of chicken wire fence, potentially showcasing that we might be getting a garden area in the far back distant part of the backyard at some point in the future. Regardless, these are some interesting potential new landmarks that I noticed in the trailer, in the E3 trailer, by looking into the background, not necessarily looking at what they were showing you on screen, but looking at what was going on behind the scenes. But that's it. That's the final one. If you enjoyed the video, you could do me a huge favor and smash that like button. If you're super hyped for this grounded Troom and Doom update that was revealed at E3, you know, 10 big changes coming in grounded update 0.10.0, .0, well then, you know, you should get super hyped and let me know in the comments because I'm super hyped and I'm going to be streaming this game with the update as soon as it drops over on my Twitch channel. I stream live over on Twitch most of the time, 9 times out of 10. I'm streaming Grounded, so if you ever want to drop in, ask me questions, hang out with me, or the rest of Hashtag Tiny Crew, I'd love to see you drop by sometime. Also, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more exciting Grounded-related, Grounded-themed content here on Tiny Power Gaming, I hope this video earned your subscription today. And if it did earn your subscription, don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video here on Tiny Power Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Arg, matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.